I want people to know how much of a trash person he he really is. Hey. Um so I figured that since uh, I deleted the first video um, due to um, one inaccuracy, uh, since it was only one inaccuracy and everything else was to the best of my knowledge completely true, uh, I figured I would make another one, um, explaining basically the things that I have experienced. Um, regarding, uh, my father. Um, so, even before, uh, you know, the divorce, he was not the best dad, um, he was not at the house a lot, uh, and part of that was he was at his office doing some work, um, but I have no doubt that Another part of that was he just didn't want to be around us. Um, he was very controlling. Um, like, There was one point, um, when, like, I was watching Scooby-Doo, you know, I was, like, probably first grade, second grade, you know, I was a small child, you know, that's, you know, perfect age to be watching a cartoon like that, um, and he would act like a monster, you know, like from the show. And I would, you know, considering everything, because like even then, like we didn't understand really the scale of things, but we still knew that he wasn't, like, the most trustworthy. Um, so, like, I, you know, would rightfully be a little freaked out. And he used that as an excuse to ban me from ever watching Scooby-Doo again because it was too scary, which he just wanted to feel control, I guess. He wanted power over something. Um, he also, um, 
banned me from playing Minecraft because it was satanic. Uh, that didn't stop me though. <laughs> to this day, Minecraft, my favorite game of all time. Um, uh, yeah. He... He also... Uh, a lot of the time, he would take us all out, um, on a lake, uh, in his speedboat, um, and, you know, it was fine the first few times, but it started happening just like at least once a week for I don't even know how long um and it got to the point where uh I have a fight or flight reaction to, um, boats, so, um, there's that, um, <clears throat> and before, uh, the divorce, he took $10,000 from me, $10,000 from my older sister, and $10,000 from my younger sister. Um, and he used that to help pay for his house uh, here in Ohio. Um, uh, he called it an investment. Um, uh, I don't think it was. I do not believe him that it was an investment. He hasn't sold the house yet. been I think just about over a decade now since he bought it um I contacted him through a throwaway email account that I connected to a Venmo uh, to attempt to get the $10,000 back from him. I don't even care about any, any growth that may or may not have happened. I just want my money back. Um, he made a whole show of dancing around the subject and refusing to give it back to me because of my mental state, which I'm not suicidal anymore. Um, I was, uh, Like, you know how you can only bend something so far until it snaps? He was the bending, um, and just the stress of, like, school and stuff was snapping. 
Um, I had to drop out of my senior year because I was at risk for a little while. I no longer am. I'm doing much better. Still not perfect. I never will be, but... Definitely way better than I was. Anyway, um, after the divorce, um, we had visitation for roughly a year, I want to say. Uh, we had some of our stuff at his house, you know, and we'd go over there and we'd do things with our stuff that we took there. Um, and you know, he'd also, he'd also like have his girlfriends and their kids, um, at the house too. And when they were around, he'd be, you know, a good dad. Um, and, you know, when they weren't, he'd be normal. Um, like, there was a time, uh, when, like, he, he was not good at cooking, and, you know, when he would make something, um, he would make us eat everything. Like, even, like, the little crumbs. And at one point, he made me eat, like, literally everything. I ended up vomiting because it was so bad. And then, you know, at a later date, he made th he made some stuff, and you know, I thought I don't want to eat this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get sick again. So I put it in my mouth, excused myself, went to the bathroom, flushed it down the toilet. And when I came out, he figured out that I did that, and he told me, almost word for word, if you didn't want to eat it, you could have just said something. And, you know, I called bullcrap. Because... <laughs> He'd established at that point. Look at that. He had to eat it's everything. Real. Not just the and from out west, Sandusky, so, Lorraine, Ohio. Gaslighting. Some people call Waffle with a capital G. Yeah, there was. What up? There we go. A lot of times. At the very least, similar to things like that. Um. At, at one point, um, he left me and my little sister, um, because he had forbade my older sister at that point from visiting him because, um, <clears throat> He was talking bad about mom as he was driving, as he was like, he, was, he picked us up for visitation, started driving away. He was talking bad about mom, and my older sister told him to shut up, don't say stuff like that about her. And he kicked her out of the car, and he banned her from visiting him from that point. 
Um, so yeah, there, this one point, this one time, um, when it was just me and my little sister, uh, I remember I was 13, so she would have been 10, or around that age. Um, he had just gotten a new job, and he left us at his house to just do whatever. Uh, his rules were we were not allowed to go downstairs. We could stay in our room, and we could go to the bathroom. Um, and it's not as bad as it sounds. It is still bad, but there was, like, there was a big TV in our room. There were plenty of, like, couches. It was, like, it was more of a living room than, than, um, than a bedroom. It just had two beds, one for me and one for her. But anyway, yeah, we were allowed to be in our room and we were allowed to be in the bathroom and that's it. We weren't allowed to go downstairs, uh, to the kitchen. We weren't allowed to go anywhere else. Just those two places. And I had like a little cell phone that I could use to talk to mom. I didn't have like a personal like smartphone at that point. I just had like a, a flip phone that technically belonged to my older sister, but um, she let me take it during visitation so that I could talk to uh, them. But yeah, I let mom know what was going on, you know, as, as you do. And she thought those two kids are being left alone all day in a house. What if something were to happen? Nobody would be there. And, you know, I, I feel like that's a valid concern. So she called, like, the police station and let them know, hey, these two kids, like my two kids, are left completely alone in their dad's house all day. And, you know, they came with her to, uh, you know, try to check on us, but, like, we weren't allowed to go downstairs. He specifically said, like, even if it's the police, don't go downstairs. Don't answer the door or anything. And, you know, we, we were scared of him. So we did what he said. And that eventually escalated to him at first taking us with him to work. Um, but then, like, dropping us off at, like, I think a YMCA. And I remember the first time he did drop us off at the YMCA, he told us that if we ever told anybody um, stuff like that again, they would take us away from both him and mom, and we wouldn't be able to see either of them ever again, which, you know, now I know absolutely not true. We would have been taken until mom could pick us up and then we'd go with mom. But, you know, we didn't know that at the time. We were just scared. And so, you know, after all of that, um, there was you know, a bunch of court hearings. He was deemed unfit to be our parent. Uh, mom got full custody, and he started to fight for visitation. 
uh, until... until we were pretty much old enough to say, you know, no, we're not going. Which, you know, legally that's 18, but realistically you're not going to be able to tell, like, a 14, 15-year-old, do this. You're not going to be able to, like, physically force them to. So, like, he kept fighting until we were all old enough to, um say no and we got a restraining order um he would periodically show up anyways um once to drop off a huge box of games and consoles i guess he got it at a storage auction i don't know he does that a lot <sighs> like even before the whole youtube thing he did storage auctions quite a bit. And, um, another time to, like, talk to my older sister. Uh, and we were home on that second time, and I saw his face through the window, and I immediately started having a panic attack. And I ran into my room and hid in my toy chest. And I started, like, frantically calling mom, like, dad's at the house, dad's at the house. And it's just like, I was terrified. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> that is basically most of the story, at least what I can remember off the top of my head. There are other things that I neglected to mention, like I'm remembering right now that there was a time when uh, we took a vacation to the beach, like with mom, and um, he had said he was going to come and he was going to, he was going to get us from like the vacation that we had, and and um, I remember coincidentally there was somebody with like the same color truck as him who like drove outside like the beach house that we were staying at, and I got so scared, thought that it was him, um, and it was just it wasn't fun. The vacation was fun, um, but, uh, thinking that he was there to take us away, that was not fun. Um, and, like, there's definitely other things. But yeah, all of that, that's what I got off the top of my head. Um. So, yeah, that, um, that's my story. Uh, I know that there's... No matter what I say, there's going to be people who are going to be on his side, no matter what. I've accepted that. Um, there are going to be people who call me a liar. There are people who are going to say I'm just doing this for attention. Um, regardless of what they say, uh, that isn't true. I'm doing this because I'm fed up with his garbage, and I want the truth to be known. I want people to know how much of a trash person he he really is. So yeah, that's um that's gonna be it.